looking to have. And it looks like they are going to be moving to the middle of this high yield base here, try to hold it off. I guess uh, Foss decided he wanted to cancel his hatchery there, and it looks like we may see uh, Jokebook taking that with uh, Nexus here once this creep clears off. Um, and Jokebook, once again, massing up a decent-sized army here. He does have a few high Templars joining the fray, so we will be seeing Storm here shortly um, as that is finished researching. And it looks like he is actually researching uh, the additional energy, which is the Kaidaran Amulet, which will allow him to cast more Storms. That is going to increase his total energy by uh, 50. Going back to my base, you can see I've only got one mineral field and apparently no drones on it right now, but the one mineral field does have 235 left. Uh, mining my, my uh, natural expansion here very thoroughly, as well as the secondary expansion. So, um, both bases being mined pretty heavily right now. And 13 starting to mix in some immortals with his main army. So, uh, getting a nice diverse mix uh, of units on the battlefield. I would like to see him throw in a couple of Colossi here, although it doesn't look like at this point he has the tech for it. He does have the robotics facility, just not the robot... I'm sorry, yeah, the robotics facility, just not the robotics support bay. And 13 warping in some high Templars of his own, so we will be seeing some side storm from him in a big battle going on in the middle, throwing down some side storms against these Zerg units. And in the meantime, I sneak in the back here and take out the Nexus that uh, Jokebook is trying to build here. And then, of course, backing off because the side storm does tear up Zerglings and Hydra so well. Uh, the Hydras now, since they only have 80 hit points instead of the 90 that they used to have, um, are just that much weaker to Psystorm. And 13, while uh, Jokebook's army is out of place, is going to move up here and take out the cannons and pylons that were put up to defend this expansion once he tries to get it up. And it looks like he is going to get sandwiched, though. This may be a bit of a mistake by 13. His army is going to get completely surrounded by Foss and Jokebook, so um, he is not going to have much of an army at this point. If we take a look at the units overlay, uh, you can see the 13 has only four Zelts and uh, four, five, six High Templars now warping in a few more units. At the same time though, I've got 45 Zerglings, 24 Hydralis, and 32 Roaches. So a very healthy sized army here for me at this point. Um, and it looks like Jokebook and Foss are going to move out on the map thinking that they probably have some kind of an advantage at this point. So going to try to push that advantage right now. And of course, as they take out my Overlord, I am aware that they are coming at me right now. Um, and my large army is starting to move out on the map as I realize they are going after my ally, 13. Luckily, his cannons up on the high ground here are going to get some free shots off before they're able to really do anything um, in trying to get these overlords away so that he does not kill any more of my supply. Um, and, of course, they are moving into my base at this point. Um, a lot of units here, and at this point, I'm basically taking on both armies by myself. Lots of Psystorm going down on my roaches, um, and that, of course, is going to melt away a large amount of my health and units, although still I had such a big army that I was able to hold all that off. Um, the blue player's Protoss army is gone, and these Roaches and Hydralisks are going to clean up the Roaches and Hydralisks of Foss. So 13 getting in the mix again with some Zealot Stalkers and High Templars, but at this point there's not really much for him to kill there. Um, and it looks like Jokebook trying to throw down this expansion up at the high yield again, throwing down a lot of cannons here to go and try to protect this Nexus. Um, although it looks like with how large the army of 13 and I uh, is that he will probably not be able to hold this off unless he has some serious units back at his base, which as you can see does have a lot of side storms. So who knows if he gets some really good side storms off, this may be enough. Um, and he is moving in now with his Zelts and Stalkers, um, although the High Templar is lagging behind at this point. Um, and so it looks like he is going to lose this base before he is able to get up there and effectively defend it. And the High Templar is here now, not getting any side storms off just yet. Um, and I am able to snipe one of them, but there are still uh, five, it looks like. So a lot of High Templars still, and he is warping in more Zealots constantly. Foss sending over some, uh, some reinforcements here with the Hydralis, but they get trapped by the Roach Hydralis army of, um, of mine. <laughs> and basically, it looks like they are going to go down, and I'm going to move down here and take out this expansion since... Foss does not have any defenses there other than one queen and one spine crawler, and that hatchery going down very quickly to the combined fire of the Roaches and Hydralisks. And at this point, Faust is in a very, very bad situation economically. As you can see, he um, just does not have a whole lot going on. Very little minerals left in his main, and he has not very thoroughly mined out his uh, natural expansion yet. So um, he is going to be in a little bit of trouble here if his ally is not able to help him hold on to an expansion soon. Um, and it looks like Jokebook moving in here, trying to help his ally out, um, and it looks like some, oh, great Psystorms going down on the Hydralisk Roach army, and most of that army just disappearing to those Psystorms, although it looks like 13 coming in here with a few Zealots, going to try to clean up these High Templars, but Jokebook, of course, is morphing, or I'm sorry, warping in more Zealots of his own to try to hold off this army, and uh, 
that one roach and hydralis trying to do some damage on the economy of joke book but unfortunately more stalkers warping in and able to clean that up pretty effectively 13 now trying to long distance mine at the high yield as he is trying to warp in another nexus um, although I'm not sure why he's long distance mining there since he does have his expansion up I would think that those probes will be better served mining at the natural expansion until that base is done but hey whatever um, anyways Foss trying to throw down another hatchery right now, um, but it looks like I am getting ready to move in with some more Zerlings, Hydralis, and Roaches. Um, and of course, checking this expansion again because I do have the Overlord overhead and it sees that there is more buildings from Joke Book trying to go down. So shutting that down before it's even able to finish. Um, and it looks like the army of Joke Book has been reduced to... Um, primarily high templars if we take a look at the unit overlay here he does have 11 high templars only five zealots and uh nine stalkers so um that compared to the 10 hydros 31 roaches and 26 zerglings um that i have it's not nearly enough it doesn't seem and once i saw him getting a little bit too close to his stalkers they're doing prob possibly uh, more harm than good um and despite the fact that these size storms are doing a ton of damage um, most of my army, well not most of my army, but a good chunk of my army is still going to survive and of course 13 with some zealots and high templars to support able to actually take out most of this base and he is going to move in here and clean up the rest of this army from joke book um, it looks like although a lot of high templars from joke book here still so uh, we could be seeing a lot more side storms yet before the game is over um, and I am sending out more zerglings here um, it looks like I've decided to take their high yield expansion so uh, going to start sending my army up into this area to defend um, and at this point Faust has gotten up another hatchery up at his natural expansion so he's going to be mining from that although he does not have full drone saturation on his minerals or gas at this point um, and it looks like joke book has been uh, forced to resort to long distance mining at this base as he does not have enough to put up another nexus yet as you can see um, and his army is uh, very very small at this point because he has pretty much mined everything out and it looks like he is going to GG so at this point conceding the uh, the victory to us and uh, it looks like this was a pretty cool game. I actually enjoyed playing this game a whole lot, and 13 and I um, got a lot of points on the ladder system because I believe the people that we were playing against were actually slightly favored against us. So anyways, uh, that was a pretty back-and-forth game and a lot of armies and uh, battles going on all across the map. So hope you guys enjoyed watching it, and uh, I'll be trying to get up as many videos as I can here in the coming weeks. Thanks for watching.